Good morning, guys. It is 8.04. I'm in summer school hours where we have to be here at 8 o'clock. I've been really trying to get here at 7. We're going to work on that. Um, this is the cup of the day. Isn't she cute? Just look at this. I like her because these are kind of like our Huguenot colors. I'm thinking this is green and this is gold. And so I love that for me. <laughs> I love everything for me, right? So let's look at what we're doing today. Guys, I feel kind of like off. Like really trying to stay consistent. But all I want to do is crawl in the bed somewhere. This is, you know, really hard. Yesterday went well. Um, we taught yesterday. This is what we're going to be doing today, but we need to get some other things done first. So let's go to my playbook and let's talk about, I was like, um, coming up with my ideas for filming. So today we're going to film my May, um, overview. I know it's June, but we got to reflect on May. So May is called overview. We'll talk about that in a minute. All right, and so I'm trying to think before I just come in here and film. And I do have some other things that I want to film. So we just want to use this copy just so we know what's coming up. And then I'm going to, um, you know, every night at least think about what I do think about it all the time. But I want to document what I'm thinking about um, as far as what i'm filming every day okay and so i do have some ideas that i need to get out this week and so we'll be talking about that as well the next thing we want to do is take a look at what i filmed that you should be watching today or you should have seen i hope my previous video and it was on me creating routines so i finally finished this it was such a task yesterday but let me tell you some things that i learned and then we'll talk about my routines the first thing i learned is that i was trying to lasso on top of an image well i know better than that like i told you yesterday or in the previous video um when you rush and you just forget okay and so when i got home last night i was able to do it because when you when you have text on top of an image the best thing to do is to use these little dots and i'm just not used to it we used to be able to lasso you cut off the images you could lasso it's not working right now but when i started tapping and I started writing because I forgot to put some things on here. I have no f me time or free time. I need this to be a little bigger. I have no me time on here. <laughs> I don't know what I think. I think I'm just going to be a workhorse, I guess. Um, and you see how I just moved that around? So much easier. So last night I was able to just get everything done. Don't start today. Good news. All right, I have no me time. I have no cleaning time. I need to set this as my um, default. Um, I got no cleanup. Um, and so I'm trying to ideally, ideally um, create my perfect schedule. This is just my go-to planner. This is nothing I'm printing. This is something I'm going to reflect on. So um, as I come up with stuff, and this week I'm just kind of like monitoring myself, okay? What do I need to do? What do I have to get done? How am I going to get like all of these things done um, in a week, okay? So we got filming. We got teaching, of course. We got working on goals. And those lines just mean I need to do it every day. We got church, Bible study, edit, post, film. Okay, and then I, I told you, I have no me time at all. <laughs> and I have no cleanup time. And those things I need to add in because we do want to be um, balanced. The next thing is I want to be consistent, all right? And so we're going to add some times on this schedule for me to be consistent. I kind of got the filming down at 8, um, you know, well, I have to be here at 8, but the kids don't come until like 8.45 or 8.30. I forgot what time they said. So I kind of film when I get here. I edit and post at night when I'm watching TV. I told you I'm in the bed. But this gym is really, it's starting to annoy me because I'm not getting it in. And yesterday I needed a nap. And so with needing that nap, it just took away from some of my goals. And so I am getting older and maybe nap time needs to be put on here. It has to be scheduled. I'm not sure how that works. 
because I'm embracing a new era in my life and that's just getting older, okay? And nobody wants to believe that when you get older, things change. And they maybe they don't change for everybody, but they are changing for me and we're going to identify those things and we're going to work harder, okay? So now that we have kind of like my routines and things out of the way, I'm, I'm really getting excited about it now. I just got to start doing it and checking off what's easy. Maybe I'll highlight what's easy for me and then what I'm struggling with, okay? We can do that red light, green light, Yellow light, I do like the um, the light, the, the, the system of that. Um, I use that when I'm teaching for tiering. And so maybe we need to tier um, my habits, okay? All right, the next thing what I want to do today is I want to go into a completely different planner. I do use multiple planners, and I'm trying to get out of it, but I don't think it's going to work. Um, I have also created me some notebooks. I have a summer school notebook. And then I have a National Board Certified Teacher Notebook that I'll be using. And so I really kind of like those. Those are kind of cute. This is still my daily planner, which I haven't deleted yet. This is the one that I use for paper and rolls. And all I did was change the cover. All right. And then this is the one we're going to be working out of today, which is called my memory planner. And so what I want to do real quick is I want to do my May review, right? And then I want to do my May moments. Hopefully, we'll get through all of this before the kids come in. So I kind of went and pre-prepared um, for this, I guess is the best word, by um, downloading the pictures and things that I want to, um, let's turn this, use for my May review and my May moments. And so we are going to be going back and forth as I want to put this stuff on here from one page to the next. I do want to show you what I've done because I've been pretty consistent with that. So let's just take a look at my January through April. Okay. And so January starts here and we're not showing you my whole plan. We're just showing you my moments. So here go my moments for, I think this is January. Why is it looking like that? I don't know. Okay. So this is January, right? And so I'm going to use that. I use the same script for each one. So that's January review. And then I kind of put the three things that I accomplished that month that was important. And then birthdays here, events, um, monthly goals, monthly focus, a quote. And then I just white it out the bottom of it. Okay. And then these are pictures. So you pick three pictures for the month. And then I attended my niece's baby shower. And then I actually journaled here. Okay. And so then on the bottom, it has a currently page. And if I didn't say this, this is Lux Books um, Planner. And th I think these pages was already in her planner for us to use. Okay. So then we're going to just keep flowing real quick. I'm not going to go over each page. I'm just going to show you February's. I think that's a March. What is February? Oh. February, each one's a little different. Looked like I journaled a little bit more here. I still did my three, top three birthdays. I took my um, vision board, stuck it here. And then these are three moments. My aunt passed in um, February. And so it was a lot of family events um, going on at that time. And then my great niece, I'm a great aunt. <laughs> oh my goodness, and my daughter, okay? All right, let's look at March real quick. Um, March, I started using those, um, what you call them, AI pictures. Oh, I like them. <laughs> That's me, right? <laughs> AI did that. So it takes your face on Facebook and make you a whole different person. So I started playing with that. And so I stuck her right there because that's me as my businesswoman. That's that's what we shooting for back in my twenties, right? I do have I used to have a suit similar to that. I um date my teacher plan. As you can see back in March, I was still doing that. And then these are my three pictures. These are my little students, me and my coworker. I'm gonna stop calling her a coworker and call her Taylor. There's another YouTuber who has a coworker as a good best friend. That's a um her bestie teacher friend or whatever, as a um co-teacher or whatever and they work together and her name is taylor as well so shout out to smarty style she's a teacher youtuber or whatever all right so this was my goal was to hit 500 subscribers by quarter one and guys look i did it so now we're trying to hit a thousand subscribers and so that's when i told you me and my 
granddaughter was dancing and we met the goal and we had a great time. Um, me and my, me and Taylor, we were, we did March Madness. And so this is just a competition that we do every year. And we had really fun with that this year. And that's us right there. She don't know if she in my planner, but. All right. And then next, I did that already. Let's go to April real quick. This is taking way longer than I wanted to because I didn't plan on this today, but we're going to roll with it. April. Did I do it in April? Of course I did. All right. So April review, of course, was my birthday month. All right. And so this is when I organized all my stickers. Guys, it's just a great way to go back and look at it. So this was my little review. I take my mom to the doctor. I was taking her every month, but sometimes I don't get there depending on what's going on at school. But she has um, arthritis, so she gets infusions. I had dinner with a friend, you know, took two days off. That's that's documented because Miss Kent don't normally take no days off. So to take two days off in a row, you know, that's a lot for me. All right. And that was my birthday outfit. These are the birthday presents I bought myself. Spent spring day, spring day, spring break with my, um, my little grandbaby. That's Aaron. If you're wondering, I've mentioned her in a lot of videos. That's my son's daughter. She's seven. And then this is my niece. She went to the prom. I cannot believe Casey's going to be seven seven what in the world am i talking about aaron is seven casey's going to be a senior okay and so that's my brother and his daughters he do that's not his daughter here but he has um three daughters and one i told you made me a great niece all right so then we get into may we get into june right and i don't think i did it and that's what we're doing now so we're getting ready to start our may moments and so i think some of the things that were really important to us in may is that me and um, Taylor had the students write letters. So I picked two letters. I don't think these are my favorite letters yet, but I did read through these letters and they were inspirational and inspiring to hear some of the things that they said about um, me and Miss White. And a lot of times they think that we're, um, we're really hard on them. So I'm just going to kind of like go over some of the highlights about me as a teacher that I really thought was really good, you know, to be a moment. And this is something we're going to be doing um, as one of our norms. And so what we do is my nephew's teacher had them do it for the rising eighth graders. And I thought this would be an awesome way for us to, to, um, you know, start off the school year talking to our freshmen because Ms. White and I work at an inner city high school. And so our students come in and they're not used to doing work. <laughs> so we gonna help them out. All right. And so this was a letter from one of our students that did really well on the SOL. And he said, um, by the time you see this letter, I'll be a sophomore. So I don't know as much as a senior would know, but I know a couple of things for you to start off ninth grade. Didn't he do so? That sounds so cute. First, if you get stuck with Miss Kent, trust me, it's not that bad as it seems. As strict as she is, she really is just trying to help you succeed. So if you ever... If she ever scolds you, which I will do, don't take it personal. She just wants the best for you. And that's one of the things that my students have always said about me, that I'm mean, but I care. And I really don't think I'm mean because I told them mean means I'm going to slap them upside the head for no reason. And I don't do that. Okay, we're not hitting nobody's child. We're not really being mean to nobody's child. And I don't think that I treat anybody's child any different than I would want my own son um, treated. You know what I mean? And so my son was very uh, difficult as a child as far as being a play, no, what is it? A little playster or whatever you want to call it. And so I always had to go up to the school. I used to follow him around the school and pluck him upside his head every time he got out of line. That's the truth. And they would let me do that back in the nineties. You can't do that now, probably. And I was like, sit up, do what you're supposed to do. Stop acting like that. You know better. And I just had to keep him, you know, Focus at all times and even now at 30 girl bye. and so the next letter for dear rising ninth graders is um having miss kent and miss white is the best thing that could happen so you could pass your sol test that's a powerful statement right there that we're the best things that could happen they'll always help you and give you many chances to make up your work use that as an advantage don't abuse it miss kent will be hard on you but it would be worth it if she knows what she's doing and at the end it's going to be a benefit for you. Good luck and you shouldn't stress when you have them as teachers. I really think that is tear jerking to me. So 
I wanted to kind of like pull in these letters to remind Ms. White and I what, um, you know, that we, that we were impacting other people's lives and that the things that we're here for, you know, is happening. Um, so the next thing I want to do real quick is, um, and I just want to take a moment because sometimes you got to look at your grows and your glows. And a lot of times I'm just so hard on myself about my grows that I'd never look at the glows that at the end, you know, we're helping kids change their lives. Okay. And so, and that's what I'm here for. All right. The next thing is, and I'm not sure what font I want to use, but I can always change it. My thing for May was my SOL review, like getting kids ready for SOL testing was the most important thing for me in May. Everything else takes second when it comes to testing, right? And so that was really important, making sure Ms. White and I, and sometimes I call, I really call her White, I don't call her Taylor. All right, hi. All right, so SOL testing was important to me for May. Um. I had another priority, but it didn't work too good. So I don't know if you should put that on there. Filming, let's, let's, that worked well. But working out didn't go to, that's like really bothering me, right? And we're going to have to figure that out. But filming was something that went well. And I'm going to put working out, even though it didn't go well, because that's going to be a glow. I mean, I'm sorry, these are glows and that's a grow. I need to grow with that. So we're going to act, we're going to put it down because it was on every planner, every page working out and drinking water is important and I'm not doing it. So we don't know why. Like last night we went home and went, went took a nap, but I did get up and edit the video though. All right. So we're going to put working out and drinking water and it's going to be on every page until I do it. Working, uh, working out, and my students are starting to come in. So if you hear a little noise, we just gonna have to ignore them. And drinking water, cause class doesn't start for another few minutes, so we just gonna have to go with that. All right, so we're gonna actually delete this size of this. Y'all know when I film, I realize how much, how many mistakes I make talking. <laughs> All right, so I really don't think I had any birthdays in May. I need to go back and look at my birthdays. And then um, I did have a few doctor's appointments and my monthly tasks, I will add them. I will show you a final um, view of this tomorrow as I continue to work on it. And so the next thing I wanna do is just put these pictures that I, Copy. So one of the things that in May that was really important to me is I went to my, I guess she's my little cousin's sweet 16 party. Um, and this is my aunt. And so I was, um, had a really good time. So we just gonna add this picture here. And then the next picture that I'm gonna add was me at the party. Cause I didn't want to go. I hate traveling. If anybody knows me, they know I hate traveling. So my dad picked me up and he drove me and I know I should be driving him around cause he's the one that's 70 some years old. But I, I, I'm going to just say in my older age, I was not treated like this as a child, but I'm, I'm the princess now. So he picks me up, he drives me around and, um, I wasn't spoiled as a child, but I'm definitely spoiled as an adult. And I'm gonna receive it, okay? We just, it is what it is. And when he can't drive anymore, of course I'll do it. But right now he can still drive. And then the other one was my granddaughter. She came to Saturday school with us and I had a really good time working with her and she was a little stubborn at first. You can see she got that hood on her head, which I don't like, but hey, she got her work done. I don't know what it's with these young people putting them hoods on their head. It just drives me. And they be in the middle of summer. I'm hot with a whole sweatshirt on. But anyway, I'm going to finish this up and I'm probably gonna have to come back at the end of the school um, day because my students are starting to come into the room. And so I will see y'all in a minute, but we are getting our May moments together. And hopefully when I come, some of this will already be done and I can just kind of like summarize everything. All right, guys, see y'all in a minute. 
Hey guys, I'm back to finish out the video from this morning. It is about 3.40. Um, I just spent the last 15 minutes talking to you all and didn't record anything. So we're going to try to go back through this and see how it goes. But um, this is called your May Review and this is your May Overview. This is the Lux Book Planner. I know I said that at the beginning of the video, but I just want to reiterate. Um, the Lux Book Planner comes with some pre... Um, set pages i want to say so i just want to kind of show you how the month comes you get a that's not a good one let's go down here to a blank month so you get a blank month and you have to date it um and then when you swipe she gives you the july review and this week and i think she meant for the review to go first i'm not understanding and then i guess you add to it but i put my review and my moments together so that should say july moments and this one should say july review well then i need to go back to may and change that to moments because i put overview i don't know what i was doing what did i put for april let's take a it says review for one and it's supposed to say moments so I will go back and do that for all of them. We're not going to do that on camera. And then we're going to go to May and we're going to do the same thing. So this is moments. Okay, we learn something every day. All right, so now that we have that situated the review is kind of like the overview for the month so i had three um goals that i was trying to reach um sol testing is always important in may and uh, me and taylor did hit our um goal we, we exceeded our goal let's be clear because we had a 70 percent pass rate as our um goal what is which is our smart goal and i think for second semester we hit over 80 um percent or right around the 80 percent mark um, filming. I wanted to film in two to three videos for, since January, and I've been keeping up with that. So that's a glow. And then a grow is something you need to work on. So working out and drinking water is definitely a grow for me because I'm nowhere near where I want um, to be. I had two friends' birthday. I don't think I have any family's birthdays in May that I. And if I do, they're not watching no way. So don't. <laughs> don't worry about it but I, I have to go back and make sure but i don't think i have any family members that have birthdays in may but my friend abby is on the second and kendra is on the 10th and i am trying to compile a list of all my friends birthdays so that i don't forget um each year and i only know two or three friends birthdays off the bat so this is going to help me stay focused and i do need to add those birthdays to my new planner so let's just take a little moment to add abby and kendra because they are important to me. So let's see. We're going to go to my new planner. And one of my um, subscribers, I'm going to call her my friend. Not sure. I can't remember which one exactly. She asked me not to take out those pages. So I want to use them. So, And I don't know why. When I watch the video, I notice I do this. And I don't know where in the world it came from because that's not a habit that I've always had. So it must be nervous for making videos. <laughs> I don't know what that's for, from. All right, so we have important dates here. And so Abby was May 2nd. So we're going to add her under May. So next school year, I don't forget to call her, text her, or do something. I probably over dinner by the time we finish summer school, May 2nd. Abby works at another school. Oh, Miss Gregory going to be mad if I don't have her birthday in April. Did I have Gregory's birthday on there? I'm going to have to cut this out. I'm going to have to sit up Abby in here now. Gregory's birthday is, mine's the 12th, hers is the 14th. Okay, so... I don't know why I wrote May 2nd. It's Abby 2nd. Hi, guys. If you're new here, then you need to know that this is a real channel. If this is your first time, those of you who have been here already know that we learn as we go. This is not, does not mean because I have a YouTube channel that I am perfect. 
I am learning and trying to be consistent. That's why an accountability is the name of the game. All right. All right. So who was the other one? Kendra. Her birthday's in May as well. And she's the 10th. See, by the time you write it three or four times, you'll remember it. Now, next year will be a whole different story, but I could win the trivia game today. All right, and then the other one was Gregory. I've known her longer than both of them, so I better have her birthday written down. Gregory is the 12th, 14th of April. She going to be like, girl, you don't know my birthday She's the 14th of April, two days after mine. We usually celebrate. When we first met, we used to go to um, Maryland shopping. We go to casino. Not that we neither one of us are um, gamblers, but we just went walking around. So we always celebrate our birthdays together. But the last couple, since COVID, we have not done that. And if she's watching, we need to get back. All right. And so those are my birthdays for the month. I got the quote off of Facebook. Literally, just screenshot. This is, uh, I didn't even type this. This is a screenshot. You are too gifted and brilliant to be paralyzed by procrastination. You need to focus, okay? I've already talked about um, the two letters this morning. Um, and then this was kind of like a summary of what I wanted to accomplish for the month of May. Um, at the end of the month, it was like crunch time trying to finish these planners. And I really wanted to create a planner that um, was a combination of my personal and my teacher planner because I felt like I was overlapping. And I think I did a really good job except my weeklies. I really still miss the weeklies. So if you're new here, I used several planners and I was trying to get rid of all the planners so that I could be everything could be housed in one, but it's still not there yet. But anyway, we working on it. All right. The next thing is the May moment. So you have to post, um, three pictures. And so this is my granddaughter, Aaron attending Saturday school. She did not want to do any work, but I told her the other students was working. So you had to work. This is my aunt and her daughter on her 16th birthday party. It was a really nice event. And, um, I really did enjoy that, and that was me at the party. All right, the favorite moments had to deal with Ashley Lauren's Sweet 16 party. Um, my dad and my um, bonus mom picked me up, and I really was thankful that they allowed me to ride with them and stay with them and um, treated me, you know, like I was a princess, and I, I really did enjoy spending family time hanging out and relaxing, right? We get up in the morning. My bonus mom goes to Starbucks, her pajamas look like like house clothes, but she goes and she gets us all Starbucks and come back and we really chilling and having a great time. And you always going to have fun around my bonus mom. My summary, I did 12 videos, which I met my goal. I read my two books, one self-help and one personal. I guess it's personal and just a relaxing book. Light book where you don't have to think about it. It's entertaining. Um, I read three books of the Bible, and I listed those books that I read. I'm really, really trying to finish reading the Bible by the end of the year. And so I've set this goal to go through the Bible. And I realize I don't want to just go through the Bible. I want to show you real quick. I use these pages, which is also from Lux Book. She has a Bible um, planner, I guess you could say. And so I pull the pages Bible journaling. It's like Bible journaling. I pulled the pages from her Bible journaling pages. So she had a Bible notebook. It was a couple of things that she had. Faith and Lux. Those are stickers. Faith and color. I don't know what those are the same thing. I think I already combined them, but I was using this. And so she has different templates you can use. I probably need to start using different templates because I'm kind of getting bored with these and it's starting to look like the same thing. So I am going to be maybe switching that up for this month. But um, Philippians, I've already started um, annotating. Basically, Colossians, I started annotating the book, but I've already read them. I just got to go back and, and, and annotate. And Thessalonians, I haven't done that one yet. So I usually annotate. I can show you a few pictures real quick of previous months. Every month, I do finish my annotations. And I also 
journal while I'm in church, if that makes any sense. So these are the two books that I've read, Galatians, and this is the overview, same format, okay? I usually just change the top. And then this is Ephesians. And then while I'm in church, this is a Bible journaling at church. Um, that's me reading a book, so I put my book reviews in here. And this is another Bible journaling Bible journaling. So this is, I really do this during the service while the pastor's preaching or while I'm at Bible study. If y'all have any questions, this was a currently page. And so this planner, I want to print and we'll get into that. And I'm loving that good notes change where I can see the pages side by side. So when you start at the top of this book, which I'm going to change out the cover, you have the cover and the title page. And then as you go through, you can kind of match up pages of how the book would look if you flip the pages. So these pages are kind of off, which means I would have to put a page in between and that's not a problem. So if you wanted to, you could probably just duplicate this page. All right, so I duplicated. I'm going to clear this page. So if you click on it, I'm just going to try to show you real quick. Clear the page. Now these two and everything else should be side by side. I fixed the rest of the planner. Now I will still have to fix the top part because these two pages are supposed to go together. These two pages really probably just need to delete this page and everything will fall. Let's just do it. I think this is a template or we can move it. So let's just copy it. I don't want to move to... Let's just move it out. I'm going to just move it into. See, there go good notes again. I don't feel like doing all that. See how she locking up. We'll have to come back because good notes is locking up. So these two pages will go together. These pages will go together. And then now everything should be kind of lined up. And then I can make sure the pages will fall the way I want the book to go. All right, Luxbook showed us this a couple of years ago, and I've never printed one, so I'm trying to stay focused. And to this point, I'm pretty much focused on um, being able to print at the, is that an April moment? That's March. Oh, on this, the, the pictures was there. I was like, wait a minute, is that messed up? But, you know, April birthdays, you got your goals and your vision board, the books that I've read, you know, and then you started got having the journaling pages and they'll be matched up which is off topic so let's just get back to what we're supposed to be doing all right and so <clears throat> the last thing i want to do is take a look at my currently and so in order to do that i do want to take a look at last month's currently to show you the comparison All right, so I kind of already had it tabbed for you because, like I said, I made this video and I wasn't recording anything. All right, so for my currently last month, I was loving digital planning, like literally physically the digital planning part. But this month, I think I really loved, or May, the YouTube shooting the videos and things. Um, last month, I was eating a seven-layer dip. This month, I'm not really eating the same thing. Like, that's a repetition, like you just eating the same thing over and over again. Um, drinking, I was drinking those premier protein drinks. I'm not doing that as much. So I don't really have anything that I feel like that I'm, you know, that's my currently. I'm going to go home and think about it. Um, last month I was really binge watching Law and Order, The Organized Crime with Elliot. If you haven't seen it, I love that show. All right. And then this month or May, I was watching Martha's Vineyard. It was a reality show. I'm not going to say it was all that. But it was entertaining and it was light and you didn't have to think. It was just something that you could put on. Um, I was reading Tiny Habits this month. And I think this book carried over, but a love story for Ricky Wilde. I've kind of like, I think these months sometimes they um overlapping. I'm not wearing black leggings as much. I think I want to take that off. I think I'm wearing more sundresses now. I don't know. They're not even sundresses. They're just dresses. But we're going to make sure. I'm going to think back over my month. I really don't know how I'm feeling. I was determined last month, because I, I mean April, but March, I mean mm, May, I, I'm not sure. I need to do some um, thinking on that. 
I'm still working on um, my weight loss this month or that or well, May I was trying to work on it and I just kept failing at everything that I was doing. And then um, I was working on my YouTube videos in um, April. So this is April <laughs> and this is May. Okay. And so um, I think I kind of got a handle on the YouTube video. So now I really do need to focus on my weight loss. All right. And then wanting last um, April, I wanted to stick to my budget and that didn't work either. That's a grow. And then this um, May, I was really working on trying to get to a thousand subscribers and I'm on my way. Um, and then I joined a new church in April and May, I'm grateful for my students passing the test and I'm still listening to auto book, audio books. And so that kind of like summarizes. And I never showed y'all this before. So this is the first time like me going through um, this with you all. And so I think I want to try to make this a habit of us looking at the overview of the month and how we've come. Does that mean the, the planner's gone? There we go, girl. All right, so I kind of want to make that a habit of showing you my review and my moments. And so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you stuck with me this long and was patient as I got through this, I do appreciate you. Um, and as always, I will see y'all tomorrow.